show you how to remove and install the factory soft top for the Ford Bronco. So let's get to it. All right, so with the Ford Bronco factory soft top, you have multiple positions that you can set it to. The first one's gonna go about this far back, and then you can go all the way back down, and then you can take it all the way off. So I'm gonna show you how to do all of those, but we're gonna start with position one. So, to take it to the first position, you're going to flip these latches. There's one above the passenger seat, there's another above the driver's seat. I'm sure you've seen it if you have one. Then you're gonna push up here, Super easy. And then you're gonna lift it back and just lay it gently here. There is a strap that you can use um, to kind of secure this here. I don't ever do it, but you, you can, especially if you're off-roading or it's windy, you'll wanna do that. So that's position one. Now let's move to position two. So for position two, we have to remove the side and rear panels, and then we can fold this all the way back. So let's go ahead and take those off. So this is velcroed on, we're gonna attach that a little bit, and then we're gonna release these buckles. There's three of them. Once that's done, we're gonna kind of pull a tug on this little piece right here. And this tab is gonna slide out of the slot there. Just kind of work it up and then Open this door so that you can reach right in here and you're gonna pull this out this uh, tab you're trying to pull it out of that slot right there and now it's released and what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide this out this direction toward the front of the vehicle just along the track and now that panel's off. And we're gonna lay that down in a flat area so it doesn't crease or anything like that. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now on the other side, undo the Velcro and release these buckles. There's three of them. Okay, pull. Carefully here, we'll work that up. Just pulling that tab out. We get in here, opening the rear door and releasing that from the slot. And then we can pull this out to the side. Sometimes it gets caught a little bit. And you just gotta make sure everything's aligned on the track. Sometimes it's just not quite there. All right, now for the rear panel. Uh, it's gonna be basically the same thing. We're gonna release the Velcro, and then you'll see these buckles. You got four of them on the back. Release those. You can actually kind of push this up if you want to get it out of the way. Not necessary, but you can. And then you're gonna pull in here and release that. It just pulls straight off. And you're gonna do the same thing over on this corner. And then you're also gonna pull this out of the slot up here. It, it should be a pretty gentle. Tug. And that right there is just pulling right out of there. And then right here you can see where this little hook was pulling off of that. So once you've done that on both sides, you can then slide the whole thing out. And it doesn't really matter which direction you go. It just slides along the track. Try to keep it straight as you're doing it so you don't crease it or anything like that. Got the rear panel, lay that down somewhere flat. All right, once you've taken that back panel off, just remember to fold these back if you had flipped them up. So now we're gonna go ahead and take this and fold it all the way back. So what you're gonna do is, there's actually a button right here, a little lever. It's gray, it says press. And then next to it, you'll see a sticker that says lift, which is nice. So you're gonna press that down until it releases the latch on both sides.
Now, as you're folding this back, be really careful to not let these um, all this hardware scratch your paint here. I actually did that uh, on the first time I tried it. All right, so once you have this folded back, it'll kind of just set right here, but you actually need it to latch. So it's the same latch that you used to pull it off the frame just a second ago, and you're just gonna push down and it will latch. Just be careful, there's a lot of moving parts, you don't wanna lose a finger. And then you've gotta do the same thing on the other side. So now on the passenger side, you're gonna just push down and let that latch there as well. And now you're secured, so that's not gonna go flying away or anything while you're driving. All right, so this is position two. So you can see we've got this folded all the way back and you're pretty much a full open air experience. Um, this is kind of probably one of my favorite positions because you don't actually have to take the hardware off completely because that's a little more of a hassle, but I am gonna show you how to do that. So let's do that next. All right, so to take off the soft top completely, we have to remove the hardware, which means we've got to take off a few bolts. There's actually six of them, and Ford gives you the tools you need to take that off. So, first thing you're gonna do is open the tailgate and climb in. Okay, so you've got this plastic panel here that you gotta take off. So, you're gonna just pull on that. It feels like it's gonna break. I've done it a lot, it doesn't break. <laughs> It could, I guess, if you were in the cold, but uh, that's just gonna pop right off. And then you've got these three bolts that you've gotta remove, and we'll take those off in just a second. All right, so we, once we've taken the plastic panel off the driver's side, we're gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. So it's pretty simple, just pull again, same deal. And you've got three bolts here as well. So let's get the tools, and then we'll take those off. All right, so we're gonna get the tools. They're actually gonna be found in your glove box. So let's get those in this little bag here. It's got a nice Bronco logo on it. Open it up. There's a few tools here, but the ones you're gonna need are the ratchet and this 13 millimeter socket. All right, so we're gonna just start taking these bolts off. Now you need to be careful because they will fall into this well here and you will never see them again. All right, so we've done the driver's side, now it's time to take off the bolts on the passenger side. All right, so now we have all six bolts removed. They're all just sitting right here. We're ready to take the entire soft top off, hardware and everything. So to do that, first, you're gonna actually have to release a little latch here and here. So you're gonna push those up and just set it gently back down on it. So it's actually now just kind of sitting on that latch. Uh, if you don't do that, it's gonna just kind of stick there. All right, so I've got my brother-in-law, Sean. He's gonna help me lift this. Do not try this by yourself. This thing's like 200 pounds or more. So what we're gonna do is grab here by the bottom of the frame, we're gonna lift up. Okay. And we're also gonna grab back here and then gently move it back. and then you place it on a surface. And that's it. Uh, that's how you remove the soft top. Uh, next, you're gonna wanna put all of your bolts back in the exact same spots where you found them and replace these plastic pieces. Uh, you don't have to put the bolts in. I just like to do that. That way, I always know where they are. All right, so I've officially showed you how to remove the factory soft top. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. Stay tuned, because I'm about to show you in this video the installation of the factory soft top. So uh, before we do that, I just wanted to encourage you to subscribe and like, leave a comment, let me know else, what else you wanna see from the channel, and hopefully this is helpful for you. All right, let's get to the install coming up right now. All right. <laughs> That's fine. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, open the tailgate, and we've gotta pop off these plastic panels here. And remove these bolts right here, which you may not have them in there. I just like to keep them there 
uh, so I know where to find them uh, when, when I take it off. And we're gonna do that on the same, same thing on this side. And I've already got my ratchet that comes with the Bronco. This is what we pulled out of the uh, glove box in case you missed that part. So it's a 13 millimeter socket if you are wanting to use your own. Okay, so now that we have those bolts removed, it's time to grab a buddy and lift the soft top and put it in its place. So I've got my brother-in-law, Sean, he's gonna help me do that. So you go very carefully, you can see the scratch the sides. All right, so you're, what you're wanting to do when you're setting this in here is you want to make sure that this little notch here fits over this uh, peg. And then that, you can kind of see the the hole for the bolt is actually not really showing. What you're actually going to have to do is kind of you like push down so you can see it. You're really going to have to push down on this so you can get it in that hole as it wants to kind of buck up a little bit, which is fitting, I guess, for a Bronco. I'm gonna take our 13 millimeter ratchet and get these a little tighter. Okay, once the bolts are on, you're gonna just take this little plastic panel and put that back on. And then if this is still uh, up like this, which it's actually helpful to put it on if you leave it like that, we're just gonna go ahead and pull that down so that it's flush. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. Okay, next we're gonna take this and fold it all the way back to the front. So let's do that. All right, so we're gonna press this lever and unlatch both sides. And then we're gonna just lift this up. Be careful not to scratch your paint here. And that'll just fold over here. And then you have to latch it back right here. So usually it takes a little bit of force whenever I've had to do it. Yours might be a little easier. Then you're gonna grab this and just fold it forward. Just sit right in there. And then you're gonna latch your front latches here on both the driver and the passenger side. All right, let's grab that rear panel and we'll put that on. It's kind of floppy. All right, so we're just gonna slide this down the track from the bottom. Try to keep it upright if you can. Okay. I'm gonna lift this up just so we can see everything a little bit better both sides and we need to put this in so what we're gonna do is this little whatever you call that goes right in here there's a little arrow pointing to it and then this um, latch here is gonna actually connect right here on this little uh, rod that goes across there so first you're gonna insert right there you kind of see it goes up in there and then this will just click right on and uh, you want to do that on both sides okay that's in okay, and now we're going to connect these buckles And then fold this back down. And 
Try to get this Velcro aligned a little bit better. So once we have the back panel on, we're gonna go ahead and put the side panels on. And kind of the same thing, you're just looking for that little, um, this is like a tongue and groove track here. And try to get that in there. And that should just slide all the way through. I'm gonna have to rock it a little. There's a secondary piece right here where there's a gap in the little uh, tongue piece. And so you kind of have to feed it through again here. It sometimes gets hung up. So if you're having trouble, that's probably what it is. The next thing we're gonna do, I just wanna show you this while it's kind of bent down. This piece is gonna fit right here in this groove, this tab. And then this tab is gonna fit right here in this groove. Um, and like that piece kind of goes over that bolt, if that makes sense. So. Uh, I've seen this done a couple different ways. Some people start on this end, some people start on this end. I, I don't know that it really matters which one. Uh, I usually start on this end because I've had trouble starting on the other side. So you're just gonna kinda push that in. It's probably easier if the door is open, actually. Um, I'm gonna kinda push that in. Sit in there nicely. And then over here, can see this tab, it's gonna go in that groove. And what you can do is just pull here and it'll just seat right in there. And now that's in. Then we're gonna go up here and look for our buckles. There are three of them. So go ahead and buckle those. And then I'm gonna pull your Velcro down. Make sure this is under this little cable here so you don't have any leaks. So you might have to tuck that in. Make sure your Velcro is all good. And that's all set. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And that is how you install and remove a Ford Bronco factory soft top. I appreciate you guys watching. If this was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe. Also, we've got a ton of other YouTube videos, uh, so check out the channel. Uh, hopefully, they'll be helpful for you. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you around.